Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve a very nice indices problem. The question is 4 raised to 16 raised to x is equal to 16 raised to 4 raised to x. And we need to obviously find the value of x. Now in this kind of a scenario what we should do. So now students please understand in indices you have to always remember if the bases come out to be same then you can equate the indices okay so your i can write this 4 as it is and raise to 16 raise to x become let it be as it is but this 16 can be written as what 4 raise to 2 the whole raise to 4 raise to x so now if you see my in bases have become same so i can directly equate the indices which is what 16 raise to x equals to 2 into 4 raise to x now, in order to find the value of x, I'm going to shift all the x's on one side and keep the numbers on the other side. So, this will cancel and I will have 16 upon 4, the whole raise to x equals to 2. Now, why did I do the whole raise to x? Please understand, a raise to m upon b raise to m, if you have something like this, I can directly put them in a fraction and raise to everything is now raised to become m. So using the same logic, now I can say this is cancelling and this is becoming what 4 is up. So now I am getting what 4 raised to x equals to 2. Now again 4 can be written as what 2 raised to 2, the whole raised to x equals to 2. And we also know a raised to m, the whole raised to n can be written as what a raised to product of m and n. So this can be written as what 2 raised to 2x equals to 2. So now here if you look closely the bases are same and we can directly equate the indices. So we can say 2 raised to x equals to oh, sorry 2x equals to 1. Therefore I can say x value is nothing but just half. Now using the same logic let's put them in the original question. So we have 16, 4 raised to 16 raised to half. Now half is nothing but what square root. So 4 raised to root 16, that gets you what 4 raised to 4, that gets you the answer as what 256. Similarly, we have 16 raised to 4 raised to half, that is what root of 4, that is what 16 square, that is also 256. So now I can say therefore the answer for this particular question is nothing but what x equals to half. That's it for today, I will see you in the next video.